today, the plan was to go hike and paint to a place called Cerro Coronel in Rosarito, Baja California, on Mexico. It's not far from where I live, maybe about 45 minute drive. After an unusual season of only cloudy days, maybe like two months, we finally got to see the sun. It was the perfect day to go up there and paint. Unfortunately, we had bad luck. 10 minutes there and the clouds came back. I had no other choice but to work with what I had. This is a part of painting the outdoors. You never really know what to expect. Overcast days present the challenge of all colors becoming closer to gray. So we would need to desaturate our colors. This time of year, with summer nearing in and the raining season already passed, Cerro Coronel and other places in Baja California start drying out. Two months ago, I was here and everything was green and full of flowers as far as your eye can see. I'll be back in two months and paint again. That time, we'll get summer colors, like yellows, reds, and browns. It'll be a different experience. Since I arrived pretty late, there were almost no one hiking. You could hear all the sounds from nature, birds, insects, and even the wind. It was quite peaceful. When we paint on overcast days, we need to neutralize our colors by adding the opposite color. If we want to paint trees, for example, we have to add red to our greens to reduce its saturation. Or with a blue, we would need to add orange. I'm painting with watercolor and white wash. For those who doesn't know, wash is an opaque watercolor that dissolves with water. Both use the same binder, which is gum arabic. This means they will mix. As soon as you add white gouache to watercolors, they become opaque. I'm planning to fill up this sketchbook with landscapes from the peninsula of Baja California. From north to south, you can find different ecosystems, like mountains with forests, deserts with giant cacti, even dramatic coastal cliffs, some with crystal clear water, and much more. As it got colder and darker, it was time to pack, go back home, and finish the painting on the studio. The further things are, the less detail we have to paint. The closer everything is, we have to add more contrast and detail so we can attract our viewers' attention to these spots. In this case, I wanted to lead the viewer's focus through the path, onto the mountains, down into the coast. I wanted to create the illusion that everything there was pretty distant with the aid of atmospheric perspective.
So that's it. We're finished with this one. If you like the video, please help me out and give it a like. There's a few more videos with great locations on the making. As I continue to paint these landscapes, you can follow me along by subscribing. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or suggestions about this video or landscape painting in general, be sure to leave it in the comments. I'll be happy to answer.